Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. I've been doing vacuum cupping for more than three years now, and uh, I've made quite a few videos about it. It's kind of funny if you look through the, I was looking at videos, um, vacuum cupping videos, and you see all these healthcare professionals or acupuncturists or whatever, uh, doing it to people, and then you see me just doing it to myself. And I actually watched a video the other day, the guy said you should only have it done by trained, licensed professionals. Well, why? I can buy a cupping set like I did. I bought this cupping set about three years ago. I have no training in cupping whatsoever. I just played around with it, and I've been doing it three years by myself, and I've it's helped me tremendously and um, basically I do my arms, shoulders, front of my chest. Most of the videos I look at you see people laying down and it's on their back but I really don't do my back that much. Being that I have thoracic outlet syndrome I just cup the areas that are tight and painful which can be pretty much anywhere and um, I've seen people you know, put the cup on and then slide it like massage. And I never do that. I just find the sorest, tightest spots, put the cup on there and let it stay on there for, heck, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so. I don't time it. I just go by feel. A lot of them will fall off on their own anyway. In fact, I might have to get a new set one of these days because I've broken probably three, four, or five cups just because I'll put them on, walk around the house, and they... They fall off on the floor and crack. So um, the way I do this most of the time is I usually use baby oil. Put some baby oil on my skin first and that will help the cup seal better and it also helps the skin slide up into the cup better. Um, basically that's how they look. They come with a, a vacuum gun like this. And actually this one also has a um, extension hose and I used to use this a lot when I first got it because my shoulders were so tight I couldn't reach around behind me but now my shoulder uh, mobility is pretty good and I actually don't need it most of the time and you actually get better a little better suction when you don't use that anyway so all you do with these is you put it on usually I, like I said I put oil on the skin first just put it on the spot like that and that's how it looks People ask, the, probably the biggest question I get all the time is, does it hurt? Yeah, it hurts. I mean, it's uncomfortable. And um, a lot of times, like right now it hurts, but after a few minutes, the muscles will start to relax and it doesn't hurt as much. But um, it'll hurt while you're doing it. And then these marks here can be kind of tender the next day. These will, That's another thing people ask. How long did it take to fade away? I would say... I don't know, a few days, a week maybe. People look at me weird, but you know what? It helps me enough that it's been well worth it for people to look at me weird. I just think of it as a temporary tattoo. It fades away. <laughs> and uh, it's funny. I saw, I was watching a video of the guy the other day, and he said, he said, oh, it doesn't hurt at all. I'm like, really? Have you ever done it to yourself? I mean, he was a, he was a, therapists or whatever so he does it to other people and he he stuck a cup on his elbow and then he took it off after like a few seconds but it's like have you ever done it to yourself can't tell people it doesn't hurt because it hurts i've done it to my wife and she says it hurts too so people that say it doesn't hurt are lying that's that's one thing i hate about watching youtube is seem like people that are out to make money or you know He's telling you, you know, you should only have a professional do it. It's like, yeah, of course, he wants to make money off of you. You know, if I, in three years, the amount of time I've spent cupping, I would have spent thousands of dollars. This cupping set cost me like 30 bucks, probably 40 bucks with shipping. So, uh, you know, I'll put the link to Amazon down below of this exact cupping set. It's the only one I've had, so I can't compare it to any other sets, but... I like it. It's worked well for me. Most of the cups are two inch cups like this one, but I think there's like four smaller cups. They're all different sizes. Um, this is the smallest one right here. Um, I use those once in a while, but for the most part I use the bigger cups. And um, like I said, 
I don't lay down when I do it. I just put them on. I'll put maybe three or four on at a time and just walk around the house and do stuff. And in fact, if the cups are on there good and they're staying on, what I like to do is move and kind of like push the limits, kind of stretch while they're, while they're on there. It helps to really loosen up these outer, la outer layers of muscle and fascia. So uh, that's the way I like to do it. I mean, <laughs> I know my methods aren't proven, but you know what? I believe they work. I kind of made myself a human guinea pig over the last few years, and I've gotten good results, so that's the only thing that matters to me. And that's how I am. I'm, I'll just do things my way, and if it works for me, that's I don't care how everybody else does stuff. That's the way I do it. So I'm not telling you guys you should do it my way, but I've said I've had good results doing it this way and I've never had any bad side effects from doing it. I've had I've had uh, bleeding once in a while like if you have a little blemish maybe a pimple or a scab or something on your skin a few times blood will start bleeding into the cup. Freaked me out the first time it happened but it's happened a few times since and it's just one of those things that I'm used to now so uh, Besides that, I mean, you have the purple marks, but those fade away. I haven't had any other side effects from it, except for ringing in the ears. Sometimes when I cut my neck, my ears will ring the next day, but that usually goes away in a day or two. So that's probably the only side effects I've had from it. So um, all in all, I love cupping. In fact, I think I'm about due to get a new set pretty soon because, like I said, I've cracked quite a few of them. So, but in three years, I've definitely got my money's worth out of it, and I definitely think that it helps to loosen up the muscles, tight muscles, helps soften them up. Someone asked the other day, "Why do you want soft muscles?" Well, I have thoracic outlet syndrome, so in my case, when the muscles are soft, they seem to hurt less. When they get tight and hard, they are more painful. So. I like to keep them as soft and loose as possible. That's my video for today. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.